Hi, I'm Mrs. Thompson from North Wayne Elementary, and today we're learning all about science with Mr. Croslin. Hey, thank you. So today's lesson is on the solar system. Now, I'm glad we're outside because it's called the solar system because of the sun. And right now, we are feeling the effects of the sun, even though it's over 92 million miles away. The effect of the sun gives us most of the life on this planet. It gives us energy, and more importantly, its gravity holds us in place. You see, the sun is the heliocentric, or the center of our solar system. And so, I like how you're holding this model up right here. This is a heliocentric model. It has the sun in the middle with the planets that, and I'll hold this and you can rotate them around. The planets rotate one at a time at different speeds all around the center of the sun. And you can see the sun's pretty bright. And not only does it give light, but it also is the gravity that holds all the planets in place. Without the sun, these planets would not rotate in a circle like you're showing. They would rotate, go ahead and spin on around. Without the sun, they would just keep flying on out into space. So, we are at a heliocentric solar system and we're the third planet from the sun. But there are other planets. Okay, so we're outside and as you know, what is this called when the Earth does this? It's rotating, rotating. And the sun is shining on it. And so we've talked a little bit, since the Earth doesn't rotate straight up and down, it actually is tilted. Right now, if the Earth is tilted, what hemisphere is getting most direct sun, the north or the south? No. Right. And so when it's all the way around in its revolution, now which hemisphere is getting most, most of the sun? Wow. And so the tilt, the angle, and the revolution causes our seasons. But you know, they used to think that the sun went across the earth. But we know now that actually right where you're standing, we're rotating towards that way. So this morning the sun's here. Where will the sun be later in the day? Point. And where will it be later tonight? And where will it be before, at the very end? Headed down. And so we call that rotation. Okay, so we have a little solar system model. I got some students here. We have the sun, the sun and we have Neptune. Neptune, one of the farthest planets from the sun. Neptune, show us how far away you are in the scale. That is 30 AUs. That means 30 times the distance. And she's going, she's going, she's going. 30 times the distance from the Earth to the sun. Are we almost at the end? Is that okay? Well, hold on, let's see you. Let's undo a little bit more. Here we go. There's the Earth, Venus, and Mercury, right? Here we go. Stop. Sun. Hey, how's the weather out there, Neptune? Chilly. Yes, it's not only chilly, it's frozen. When she looks back at the sun, it's just like a little dot. Show us what the <coughs> orbit looks like. Stay far, stay keep the keep the leg tight. And so it takes over. So you stay, Earth Sun. So the sun's in the middle, heliocentric. It takes hundreds of years, hundreds of years to go around the sun. How's the weather out there, Neptune? Still chilly, in fact, frozen. A little bit faster, Neptune. We don't have 200 years. <laughs> it's coming around. It's just one revolution coming all the way around. Keep coming. And so if you lived on Neptune, keep coming, keep going. The sun holds Neptune, even though it's so far out there that the sun holds it in place because of its gravity. In fact, it would take a long time to have a birthday if you were born on Neptune. The sun. I'm Mercury. I'm 36 million miles away from the sun. I am Venus. I am 67 million miles from the sun. I am Earth. I am 93 million miles from the sun. I am Mars. I'm 140 million miles from the sun. I am Jupiter. I am 480 million miles from the sun. 
I'm Saturn. I am 890 million miles from the sun. I am Uranus, and I'm 1 billion 800 miles from the sun. Uranus, way out here, and we finally have... I'm Neptune, and I am 2 million 800 miles away from the sun. Neptune. 30 astronomical units from the sun. And so all these things put together, we call that the solar system. The solar system named after? The sun. The sun. And so the sun, these are the inner planets. We have the asteroid belts here, and we have the outer gas giants. Sun, what do you have to say to your planets? Planets start revolving. Now the planets are gonna revolve around, and you notice that some of them have a short orbit, and some of them have a really long orbit. So if you're on Mercury, it only takes 88 days to have a birthday. Where's Earth at? Earth, Earth, 365 days. You outer planets better start running. <laughs> and the outer planets are running. And, wow. So, we've been studying the solar system. We have one more thing to say. In the solar system model, in the heliocentric model, what holds it all together? The sun! None of this would be possible without my videotaping.